there. Hi there. Good morning. I'm here in the grapefruit orchards and I heard all this racket and I looked down the hill and saw they're spraying and that's some nasty shit. I've seen the containers it comes in. I've read the ingredients. So let it be known that if you're not eating organic fruit, especially tree fruit, organic vegetables you're really harming yourself really it is definitely worth the extra money I've been living here off and on for the last four years three years and when I see the difference in a couple orchards that are not really maintained which is this one right over here, directly behind, that square directly behind that palm tree, up, up on the little hill right behind on the other side of the field, that is not being technically cared for. See that field in between? <clears throat> There's been nothing really growing on there but weeds. No beautiful weeds. I wonder what they had done to that field when after it's been raining and raining and raining there's hardly even a weed wants to grow there there's hardly a weed that grows in amongst all of these trees so down there again right next to that little white strip which is a road to the left of that you probably can see the fuzz from the sprayers so it's like, you know, an old truck. Most of the equipment here has been around for a long time. I understand these groves are like a, at least 100 years old. And they've got this big apparatus, like a big pole with arms out on it that are about every foot, all the way up the pole on either side. And it goes up and down and up and down. And those arms that stick out are full of holes and the holes spray out the fungicide, insecticide, whatever it happens to be. The point I'm making is that in organic farming, they don't use all that stuff, I guess. And so they use um, natural fertilizers, they use things that make the plant want to grow. They usually do crop rotations, which was something that this country was founded on, <laughs> crop rotating when they were doing big agriculture. And trees, naturally, are another thing. You don't rotate trees. <laughs> However, there's fields around here that I know once had trees, once had some kind of food growing and like I said the ground is so dead that even after weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of rain and the springtime and the sun comes out there'll be all kinds of interesting plants growing in there in that orchard that's not maintained but in these orchards over here, all of these, I, I walk all over these hills here. You very seldom ever see even a weed growing. And nobody's going around picking them or anything like that. And there's so many snails. Billions and billions and billions of snails everywhere. Especially in this grove right here, this very closest one. And never a snail in that grove. And there's several groves on the other side of this hill here that are also not maintained, I believe, are owned by the same people. No snails. Trees look beautiful. Fruit looks great. Anyway, I just wanted to talk more about insecticides and multiply this by all the conventional huge growers all over the planet and all the shit that they're spraying in the air and shit that they're putting on the ground. There's this psychedelic blue snail bait they put on the ground 
in uh, up and down every single row of these trees. And it's a neurotoxin. I've looked it up. It's a highly deadly, horrible thing to the nervous system. So it eats, you know, the snail eats it and it destroys it from, you know, it's neuro, it's brain, whatever. Do snails have brains? I don't know. Anyway, it's a neurotoxin. Highly dangerous and it gets sprayed everywhere. So anybody that tries to tell me that there's not any residue of all that shit in the actual fruit needs their head examined. Okay, I love you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Make it a wonderful day. Go out and perform a random act of kindness. Pick up some trash. Spend some time in nature. Go for a hike. And I'm filming this in the middle of, oh, the end of July, July 25th of 2020. We're in like day, I don't know, 130 something of the COVID-19 BS. Yep, BS. One great big human experiment. Okay, bye.